Well, if you're planning on hosting a Super Bowl party, it will most likely cost you more than years past. You've probably noticed your grocery bill is on the rise. In tonight's Consumer 10 Report, 10 TV's Olivia Eugenio finds out when that bump in costs could stop. If you have beef with the cost of food, try talking to Dan Varga. The beef is pretty expensive. Dan is the owner of the Hungarian Butcher. The butchery has been open since November. He says when he buys beef and pork, it can get pretty pricey. So seeing prices on my invoice that I would pay at the grocery store a couple years ago and now having to double that and, and then charge to the public, that's a, that's a little unnerving, honestly. And he's not alone. The meat category is where there's a lot of attention that folks have been been, um, been paying to that, right? Because we've seen in 2021 prices up in the order of 7%. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says over the course of 2021, the cost of eating at home went up by more than 6%. Dr. Zoe Plakius is an assistant professor at OSU. Usually, uh, retailers and food processors, right, they are trying to predict what we're going to buy and they're trying to make sure that they have what we want when we want it, where we want it. Now, the pandemic threw all those predictions, you know, they had to throw them out the window. But she says the hike in cost should taper out over the course of this year. She's expecting about a 3% rate of inflation instead of close to 7 as our kind of spending pattern stabilizes consumers the, and to kind of a predictable pattern, that will start to allow, um, we'll start to see stabilization of those prices because we won't be seeing, you know, maybe growth in demand. We'll just be seeing kind of a stable level of demand. Plakia says one of the questions she's asked frequently is why are some shelves bare? She says it's not because we're running out of food. She says it's because there are challenges to the supply chain. Olivia Eugenio, 10 TV News. Now, the Bureau of Labor Statistics also looked at the jump in costs for eating out. In 2021, they say prices at restaurants went up by 6%.